Even though fear is learned, the capacity to fear is human nature. What's interesting to note is that we have become more fearful over time. Therefore, because the early humans who feared dangerous situations had a greater chance to survive and therefore to reproduce, fear has become a factor in natural selection. Therefore, our responses to fearful stimulus have become more intense. Is the stimulus too intense? That's not for us to decide. The following experiments took place between October 13th through the 17th in a controlled environment at the Institute. The more the situation seems to happen specifically to the individual, the more the amygdala gland is activated. So now you've seen this experiment. Let's go down to the basement. This is the water tank experiment. It's the wrong room. Sorry, we have to go back. When the nightmare that the subject experiences enters into the real world, the mind and body are thrown into a state of uh, confusion and discomfort. You'll never make it out if you don't listen to me. Go left. Quick, turn right. There isn't much time. Yeah, but I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. Do you want to be trapped in here forever? This is just a normal collapse. There is no need to worry. We we'll just go out to the next experiment. The sight is scary, but is it really pushing the limits of fear? And this is the flash fright experiment. Fear of darkness is not the fear of absence of light, but of the possible or imagined dangers concealed in the dark. Turn the camera light on. Okay, this is nothing out of the ordinary, but uh, we have disturbed the work enough for today. Please shut the camera off. Shut it off now. When Please I hear the now. trumpet sound, I'm gonna rise right out of the ground. Ain't no grave can hold my body down.